All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading, December 23rd uh, to December 29th, uh, 2019. And uh, if you do want to get in touch with me, guys, for a personal reading, or uh, you want to check on your business and uh, career tarot reading for the for this very same week, you can check the description down below. Uh, where you're gonna find both links uh, for my website and as well for the other video of uh, the week for you Libra. So that being said, moving to the love and relationship tarot reading. Now the first card which stand as a topic, it is going to be the seven of pentacles. Second card, it's about the uh, energy that it is feeding the topic here that is going to be the king of uh, wands. Followed by the other one, which is the challenge that uh, you need to overcome throughout this week. That is going to be the Two of Swords. Then the, the fourth one, it's about the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. That will be uh, the judgment. Followed by uh, the fifth card, which is how other sees you, how your partner sees you, how your wife or a husband, how your person of interest sees you. That is going to be the Six of Pentacles. The other card here represents what is going to help your long-term relationship goal, and that is the Page of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term relationship goal. That is going to be the Emperor. And the final card that we do have for you, Libra, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Knight of Cups. Very interesting here. Um, just give me a second, guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we, we, we talk about reconciliation. Right? It's definitely we're talking about reconciliation. With that judgment and with that page, not to mention the emperor as well, seven of pentacles at the start, that smells like a, um, a reconciliation or if, not it is a, about someone that tried to approach you before but they couldn't and now you know they have a second chance for it anyway so uh let's jump into going through the cards card by card and we do have the first two and um, the topic and the energy is feeding the topic so we do have a week where you are gonna fall into slumber because you will need time and space to analyze the current situation, romantic situation you are finding yourself at. If it is absence, if you are, are going through an absence of romance as well, you're gonna fall into slumber to deliberate why there is no romance around you while they can. Energy supporting it, we do have the king of wands and that is your personal appearance and presence, all right? Despite that you have everything that it takes to be in a romantic relationship or to have romance around you, you are going to find yourself not happy of, of how things are developing into that direction. And that's why the slumber comes around. And that's why I'm talking about reconciliation. You have everything to be romantically involved with your ex. Your ex have it as well, and yet you aren't. Okay, so that is also why you're going to fall into slumber to deliberate upon why, what is obstructing you, okay? What is that thing that it is either missing or it is in overabundance in there? And in case it's in an overabundance, that means that it is poisoning all the potential that you do have in between you and your friend, in between you and your wife or a husband, in between you and your partner, ex, and so on and so forth. Now, additionally to that, the energy points that uh, you can um, rely on your knack of having fun in life as well, okay? So, uh, that being said, what I do suspect it is that uh, this I would say it that way, this potential that it is unfolding right now, but you not doesn't see, you do not see intimacy in it, it is because it is not as uh, as exhilarating and as fun as you are used to, to have it. But one thing I want to tell you, things are the way you make them to be, okay? So 
uh, while it is not right now, that doesn't mean that it cannot be in the future, as long as you give it a chance. Which leads us to the other card, which is the um, challenges. I'm sorry, guys, a bit tired. So, uh, two of swords. Uh, the challenge is that pretty much uh, uh, doesn't matter how much you stole the situation. It doesn't matter how much you are uh, anticipating to tell to that person, you know, that you are going to think about it. You know, they say, look, I, I like you. I want to be with you. And you say, OK, I like you, too, but I cannot just jump into it. I have to think about it. That's fine. They're going to give you the whole time in the world. But uh, what my point here is, it is that uh, the decision is not going to become obvious. I mean, no matter how much you stole it, you're stalling it. If you don't find the answer within yourself, should you allow that person to have a chance or not? Well, it's not going to decide itself on its own accord. This is what I am trying to say. And you know, you may, uh, and uh, why I'm saying that, because you may um, enter into this perpetual slumber, you know, waiting and waiting for the signs. Should you give it for some signs from for some sort of a signs from the universe? Should you give that person a chance or not? For example, you are waiting that person to either fuck up or to impress you um, tremendously here to decide are they going to are you are you going to give them a chance or not? And that never happens. They neither fuck up, neither they impress you a lot. Okay, and uh, that's why you have to scale you know the potential based on your own personal uh, expectations let's say in your own personal uh, capabilities now the other card here it is about the gifts and the blessings and that is uh, the judgment card so the judgment uh, it may uh, on a most practical level as a relationship blessing it may speak for a child all right pregnancy child and so on and so forth but as another blessing it is that uh, it is the blessing of compatibility OK, so it does look like that whomever you are with or whomever uh, your interest, interest is, you are compatible with them, which pretty much gives you uh, the uh, prerequisite to decide at that very stage, at this very week. Once again, Seven of Pentacles is about, uh, in this particular case, it is about your own decision. Should you allow that person to be with you or should you not allow that person to be with you? Should you forgive them or should you not forgive them? Uh, with these energies, the King of Wands, the power is within your hands, okay? You get to say the final call here. Only, only by your green lights, this potential can and fault can be transformed into a powerful, a powerful drive. Just give me one second, guys. Right. So the other card, it is how other people sees you, how the friends and the family sees you, how your, how your interest or partner sees you. And it's pretty much they see you as the one who calls the shots here with the Six of Pentacles, the one who gives the blessing, really. There is no other way how to say it at that card. So uh, they pretty much recognize that the authority is within you, not to mention that the Six of Pentacles, it is about the hierarchy being brought to bear. So uh, especially if we're talking about reconciliation, that person understands that you have to say yes. It is not about what they want. It is about what you need. OK, and they will try to do what they can to fulfill your needs. But once again, at the end of the day, um, you have to take the responsibility of saying yes or saying no. And now, why do I think it is reconciliation? Because of the page of pentacles, which is what is going to further your goal, what is going to help your goal. We do have a person here who is devoted to you. It's dedicated to you. Now, you already know that person and uh, by their devotion and dedication, it is a supported by deep emotions as well. And this person is going to help your long term goal relationship wise, which is family, which is, you know, being married, for example. These are really the long term relationship goals. Uh, the other card, it is what is going to hurt your long term relationship goal, and that is the emperor. So 
few things comes to my mind instantly when I saw that card and the first one it is the retribution you know especially if that is reconciliation so because that person did you wrong back in the days and now you kind of like always shove it into their face and having the things your way based on that that thing itself that you say well we're gonna have it our way because you fucked up back in the days okay uh that is not the that is not the way how you need to approach that situation as a matter of fact um uh, whatever potential you do have right now for a romance relationship wise uh, that is another thing you need to incorporate into your deliberation should you make it or should you break it or also if you decide to make it you need to um find the best way to do it so by leaving a uh, open walls let's say or open doors for growth because the emperor really closed all the doors around and uh, it makes you the i would say the tyrant it makes you the um yeah that's cruel person who is uh, dominating over something that can be beautiful and romantic as well and the last card here represents uh, the guidance the tarot is offering to you and that is the answer to the question that you have should i make it or should i break it and that is the knight of cups and pretty much the knight of cups in this particular case urges you to turn into your feelings and decide in favor of your feelings because the knights of cups if you uh observe into the card holds the cup which is the symbol of his feelings in front of his um uh, of, of his face or of his sight and follows it so you need to follow your feelings and uh under feelings uh, that means that if you feel good when you are around that person then give them give them another chance or give them a chance in general all right don't don't play rough don't play hard because uh, at the end of the day they may simply lose interest or they may decide that it is not worth the effort at all so that being said libra this was your weekly uh, love and relationship tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading or uh, you uh, want to check out the business and career tarot reading for you for that very same week you can check the description down below and there you're going to find both links for uh, toward my website and for the other video as well uh, that being said, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.